What's going on everybody, my name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we are going to be making the functionality for our music player. So in the last video we um, we created this design in React, we made um, the player, we've added a list of songs, you can see the code here, there's a list of songs, we've got songs, we've got this player component which has some child components too. Um, and what we did was we just made the design, we made the styling, we made the layout, we did all the components we need, but we didn't do any of the functionality to actually get it to play, so we can't actually click this button right now. So, that's what we're going to do in this video, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook up... Um, we're going to hook up the buttons, they're going to play, they're going to skip, they're going to skip back, this is going to update, this is all going to update, and it's going to be happy days guys. So, without further ado, smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's get started. Okay guys, so we're going to approach this from top to bottom. So back in the code, you can get the code on GitHub or if you followed one with, along with the last video, you can use your own code. Um, and to get started, we're going to start from top to bottom. We're going to go through app, player, player controls, and then player details. So we're going to go through each one individually and get them done straight away. We're not going to go back and forth between them. Um, so I'm going to explain it as we go along. So we're going to import another thing here. We're going to import use effect. Now use effect is a way of calling a function when stuff changes. It's kind of like the lifestyle component inside of um, the when obviously this is a functional component. But back in the day we used to use classes um, and classes used to have lifestyle methods. This is kind of has all those lifestyle methods built in. And you know what? We won't explain too much more, but that's that's what's happening. So let's carry on. So down here, we actually don't need set songs. We're never going to change the songs list. We just need songs. So that's what we're going to do. That's the only thing we want in that state. Now, if we go down here, we've got our player, right? We've got song and next song, but this isn't going to work. We're going to need to update this. We need to pass through the current song index, the set song current song index function. Um, so these, we then need to get the next song index as well inside of here and also we need to pass through the list of songs and then we need to do the functionality what we're doing right here by passing the index inside of our player. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come up with the use effects function in here. So what we're going to do is a use effect. So what we're doing is we're calling that method we imported. We're going to use an arrow function and in here we're going to say so anything you pass in this array will tell it only update, call this function when this updates. So if you leave this empty, it will update when anything updates, like how a lifestyle method does. So if anything changes, this will update. But if you pass through an array of the things you want to check, such as current song index, that will then only call when this is updated. So it will call when it first loads. And then when this is updated, so anytime we call set current song index, this use effect will also take place. So the reason we need to do this is because we need to say anytime this changes, we're going to need to change the next song as well. So we're going to change the set song by using the player controls. But we then need to be able to update the next song index because the next song is obviously not going to be the same song we're skipping to. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to say set next song index we're going to pass through a function now not many people do this normally people do their um they'll they'll do it outside they'll do it up here they'll do blah 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 all their code out here i actually kind of like to do it in line because i know what's happening i know i want to say it's only for this anything outside of this is irrelevant to this so this is what we're doing here i'm doing it here we're going to say if current song index plus one is greater than songs dot length minus one because obviously an array starts at zero um we're going to return zero so this means if this song skip song plus one so the next song is more than the songs we have in our array that means we've got to go back to the start so we're going back to zero else we're just going to return current oh not, uh, not object sorry current song index plus one so what we're saying here is if this if we don't go back to zero because we haven't gone past then we need to actually get current song index plus one and that's all we need to do for this you set next song so the next song will update based on what our current song is and this is actually all we need to do in this file other than update the props we pass through to our song player so what we're going to do is we're going to update these now. So let's actually remove these two. We don't need those ones. They were just there so we can set up the UI. Now we need to do the actual code to get these songs to play. So we need to pass through the current song index. So we're just going to say current song index. 
Now, once we've got current song index passed through as a prop, we then need to pass the actual function to update it. So we're going to pass through the set current song index through, and that will pass through the function. So we can call this function um, through on our player props. So now we need the next song index because we're going to need to know which song is next. We're going to pass through the next song index. And finally, we just need the songs array. So the reason we're changing this is because before it was just so we can get it working. Now we've changed it so we can actually use it. So if we went over here, you'd see we have errors because we need to go update our players, uh, <laughs> our player prop. And in here, we need to get a couple more things. So we've got react. We now need to get, again, use state. We need use ref um, and we need use effect. The use ref is so we can actually access this audio. Um, so we can get a reference to this audio without having to, you know, do the document dot get. It's kind of basically that, but in a, its own way. So at the top of our functions here or in, in under our player prop function, we're going to say const audio element or l is equal to use ref and we're just gonna say null because it's it, we, ain't, we ain't got the thing yet we need to go to our audio down here and we just need to say ref is equal to audio el audio element so now inside of audio element we can say audio l dot current and that will get us the this ta as a target kind of how you do like element dot target e dot target in an event it's kind of audio l dot target so that gets us that, which is great. Um, and then we actually need another um, state. So we need to know if the song is playing. So we're going to say is playing or if we want it to be playing. And then we're going to get a set is playing as well. We're going to set this to use state and our default state is going to be false because we don't want it playing when we first launch this app. We then want to get a use effect. Now this use effect is going to not take any uh it's not going to take an array of um of dependencies um we're actually just going to say if is playing so if it's playing is true so anything anytime anything changes or we'll go see if it is playing we're going to let it to continue to play so we're going to say if it's playing audio.current.play. now this is using the audio api um and it's just obviously built into javascript so that's how we how we get that so we'll say current dot pause so what we're doing here is we're saying use effect. Anytime this, anytime anything changes, we're just going to check if it's playing and we're going to play it. Or if it's already playing, it will just continue playing. Else, we're just going to pause. We're just going to pause uh, the song because we don't want to listen to it right now. It means uh, we don't want it playing. So what we're going to do on our skip song and our um, skip forward, skip back um, player controls, we're going to actually just update this state here, which we will sort out in a second. We actually need a function first to handle this skip state. So we're going to set call skip song. And we're going to set this equal to an arrow function that takes a parameter called forwards, which is equal to true by default. And the reason we're doing this is because we, we don't want to create two functions. I don't want to skip forward function. I don't want to skip back function. I just want one function that does the same thing. Um, just so we don't have to create two separate functions. I mean, it might be easier. To create two separate functions but i just like using uh, one function it means i've got one place to edit my code and not multiple so we're just going to pass through this if it's if we're going forward then we pass we don't pass anything if we're going back then we pass false so what we're going to say if forwards then we're going to do here else we're going to go back so what we need to do is we need to say props so we're going to get our props We've already passed it through the player, so we just need to come down here and say props.set current song index. So the actual method we pass through, we're actually going to use and do an arrow function again. And this time we're going to create a temporary file for the props dot current song index. Oh, current song index. So we've got the prop for that. We're then going to say temp plus plus because what we're going to do is we're going to check we're going forward so we're going to move this forward so we're going to say hey add one to this so it's not if it's not one it's now if it's one it's now two if it's two it's now three we're then going to say if temp is greater than props dot songs dot length minus one we're going to set temp equal to zero so if you remember what we did in our app we actually went in here and we said if it's greater than the song's length minus one, we're going to pull it back to zero. That's now what we're going to do for the actual 
uh, the actual temp f or the actual current song index. So we'll just check in now uh, and we're going to return temp. So what we're saying here is we're going to add one to this, but if this now goes over the boundary of the prop song, so if there's more, if this is higher for the amount of songs in there, um, then we're going to sell it back to zero. So we go back to the start and we're just going to return temp. And that is all we need to do for the forwards. Now in the backwards, we're going to do a set similar thing. So let's copy this and paste that in there. So we've got set current index, but instead we're going to minus minus. So we're actually going backwards. We're then going to check if temp is less than zero. So if temp is less than zero, we're going to set temp equal to props dot songs dot length minus one. So what we're doing is we're saying the actual value to our current song index is going to be equal to the back end of. So what we're doing is we're basically saying we're going to get the songs length minus one, which is going to give us the last index inside of our array. And that's what we're going to set to. So it's going to set it back to the last song. Else, we're just going to minus minus one and continue on the rest of this. And that is all we need to do for the skip song function. So to skip song, we're checking if we go out of bounds. If we go out of bounds, we sell it back to either zero or the end of the songs array. And that way we can now um, call this. So let's go into here. So we've got our audio. We actually need to set the source equal to props dot songs dot props dot current song index dot source. I know that's a bit of a mouthful and it's quite big. But all we're doing here is we're getting the prop songs we pass through. So if you remember here, we pass through songs, which are array, which is up here. We're then going to get our props dot current song index. So that's what we pass through here, which we're actually updating in skip song. You can see here current song index, set current song index, next song. We pass that all through. Uh, just for those who aren't aware, this is the structure of these songs. Um, if you haven't watched the last video and you just hit for the function, we have title, which is going to be the title, the artist, the image source, and the actual song source. Um, all this will be in the repository, so you're more than welcome to go get this um, or mix it up with your own stuff. So there we go. So we've got this. Now playing is still a thing. And now in player details, we actually need to pass through song, but instead of props.song, it's props.songs. Props dot current song in current song index, and then if we go back to our app, we shouldn't we should do play it title undefined oh of our next song, because what we need to do is say props dot songs dot props dot next song index dot title. So this we're going to copy this because we need to do it for the next section as well. So instead of props.nextsong.is, it's now props.songs.props.nextsongs.index.artist. I know that's a lot longer and it feels like this is worse, but I promise you this is actually easier. Um, and it will, it makes more sense when we're updating the DOM and updating things in it. So if we save and we go back, you can see everything seems to be working fine. Nothing's really changed. We're just, we've just moved around some, some variables basically. So now in player controls we actually need to put play controls we need to say is playing and we need to set this equal to is our uh, is playing um our is playing variable we have up here as you can see here then we need to set is playing as well as a variable so we need to say set is playing and send that through as a variable we then need the skip song function to be passed through as well so let's break this down because it gets quite hard to read when it's broke when it's that long but what you can see here is in our player let's break these all down just so we can read them a bit easier so in our props we're passing through is playing we're then passing through the function to update is playing and then we're also passing through our song now or the skip song function sorry um which will now update so if we go into player controls we should be able to start updating in here. So we've got props on our skip button. We're going to say on click. Well, actually, let's start off our play button. It's the simplest one. Let's say on click, set this equal to an arrow function and say props dot is set is playing to not props dot is playing. So what's going to happen is we're going to say set whatever is playing to to whatever it isn't. So we're going to just flip it. We're going to reverse it. And that's all we're going to do quickly. So let's just leave that as safe. Let's go forward. Props. Oh, sorry. We need to actually pass through props in our player controls at the top here. 
There we go. So now if I hit play, the song has now started playing. You won't be able to hear this, but if I turn up my volume... Now, I hope that didn't burst anyone's ear eardrums. I had to turn up my volume because last video you couldn't actually hear it. I'm actually going to click this and that's now pause the song. Now, I can't, for some reason, my MacBook won't let me record both my Mac audio and my voice. So we can only do one and I'm sorry that that is a bit of a bit of a pain. But as you can see, when we click play, we have no indicator that says we're playing it except from the music actually playing. If you had your volume on mute you wouldn't know that the song was actually playing. So to combat that, we need to actually update our icon. And all we're gonna say is in here, we're gonna say props.isplaying, question mark, fa pause, else fa play. So if you remember last time in the video, we, we imported Font Awesome icon pack, um, which allows us to use some icons. And all we're doing here is we're gonna say, if it's playing, we're gonna show the fa pause icon, or if it's not playing, we're gonna show the fa play. So now, if I refresh and I click play, you can see the song is now playing, which you can't hear, but you can actually see that by this little pause icon here. You can actually see it also by this showing up here, this little speaker sign. So if I pause, that should now disappear, hopefully. Yep, there you go, it disappeared. So that's how that kind of works. So now we're swapping that out. And that is all the functionality we need for the play button. We now need to set up the skip button. So this is more of the, oh, that's not how you do it. Say so on click again. So the on click event, we're just going to set an arrow function once again. I'm going to say props dot skip song, and we're going to say false because this is actually going to skip backwards. So we want it to go back. So we're going to pass through the false. We're then going to copy this, and we're going to paste it in our skip button over here. But this time, we're not going to pass anything. We're just going to allow it to go through. So if we come here and we click next, you can see we swap to the next song. We swap to song three, four. And then back, and then as you can see there, we went back to to the first one. If we go back, we go back to the last song in our array. So you can see that's now working perfectly. And now if we hit play, and we skip, the song has actually now skipped. And I can't really show you it, but just believe me. <laughs> if we click next, you can see it skips again, and the song will forever skip until we get to a different song, which is this one. This is the only song that's actually got a different audio track, so it's the only one that actually updates. But you can see it works perfectly when you're skipping through. And then we can pause it as well. And we can pause and skip as well. So we don't actually need to have it playing for us to be able to skip through. We can check the song. This is the song we want to play. Hit play. And it will start playing. So that is that is practically it for this um, tutorial. There is nothing else we need to cover. Um, but if there's anything you think I've missed or there's anything you want to learn, then please drop me a comment down below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you want to see more. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Ring that notification bell to be the first person on the scene when these videos go live. I really do appreciate it. You guys are absolutely awesome. You've been smashing my videos recently and... I'm going to be bringing out a lot more going forward. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, well, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.